we've got little things that, to, that make me kind of excited. So have a look at this. And it doesn't look like much, but these pieces plus four studs are not in the product anymore. That's not a mistake on one side of the car. That's something that's been eliminated. So the studs have been eliminated. The push nuts have been eliminated. And now what we're looking at is a little bit of a savings. So there's four of those. And we're going to say that for all those four, there's probably going to be about a dime's worth of cost. All four of those are probably worth about two cents. The two push pins are sitting there and they're going to be about two cents as well. The labor for everything there is probably going to be maybe a little more than this, but we're going to say that it's uh, three cents, a total of uh, 17 cents. Let's find out what happens when we multiply it times, um, times 400,000, because they're going to make 400,000 of these things a year. That's going to give us $68,000. So that means that's one free car. But you run these things for about five years. Well, that's gonna give us $340,000. There's a lot of money and a lot of value to be had in looking at the little things. The little things that uh, Tesla's doing like this, they add up to a lot of money. Now, they did these little changes in the last two years. Tesla's looking to reduce the cost of their existing product. They're refining, they're still doing things at the speed of thought. They've eliminated uh, this little carpet here. Now, that doesn't seem like a heck of a lot, but uh, again, if you go back to my calculations, we're looking at $68,000 a year. Um, eliminating something like this is a lot more expensive. And um, <clears throat> quite frankly, they probably got feedback from the customer saying they didn't care about that anyway. We're looking at <clears throat> small changes that make a kind of a big difference. You put the cloth in, you shoot over the top of it, and you're done. This is good, it saves money, saves weight, um, and it, it gets rid of waste. We're not expecting to see gigantic changes, but we are pretty happy with the changes that we've seen so far. So when we got our Model Y, the version that we had was revision A. And then we had the, uh, the revision that came from our friends over uh, with one of the other vehicles. They were looking at revision C, and now we're looking at revision E. So you're looking at iteration after iteration after iteration, trying to make sure that this product is doing the best it possibly can to make the customers happy. So we're looking at all of the different little changes that they've made at the speed of thought, because like I said, Two years, two years and you see this kind of difference, that's a big, big deal for me, a huge deal for me. Everything I see here is 100% good engineering. I don't have any bad comments on this, on this, uh, on this operation here on the, on the front so far. And the cooling system, <clears throat> we're going to do some testing on this, but I've already gotten dozens of people calling me back saying, they have an old Model 3 and a new Model 3, and this thing is outperforming it by about 30%. And that's in cold weather. Cold weather is the bane of all the batteries and everything else. This thing is doing a better job by 30% between two cars sitting there just, just basically heating and cooling the inside of the, uh, inside the Model 3. The more bits and pieces you got, the more complexity you've got, the more opportunity you've got for failure, the more opportunity you've got for creep this uh, this is the kind of thing that uh, that makes engineers get all excited it's almost as good as um it's not just what you see it's what it affects later on this this is a fixture that'll give you a perfect body build the, the closer you can get to a single part the better off you're going to be the closer you can get to a single part the better off you're going to be we were in 2018 Monroe calculated the price for the Tesla Model 3, and that pack was $136 per kilowatt hour. The price for the Model Y that we just finished is $108 per kilowatt hour. That's a significant drop. We believe, I believe, that the cost of EVs will decrease rapidly over the next 10 years. And the reason for that, it's going to be due to innovation and economy of scales. So let's have a look at some of the things that have gone down quickly. So IGBTs and MOSFETs, 
There, uh, there's also sophisticated ICs that, uh, that, are, that are going into place. Those prices are dropping exponentially. There's new battery technology on the way, which will significantly drop the price of the, um, of the high voltage battery pack. And I'll show you some examples of that in a bit. Let's look at innovation. So if we look at, again, Tesla, I, it's hard for me to get away from them because they are leading the parade. These are the things that really and truly can make a significant difference to the cost associated with running your EV. We're looking at nothing, nothing, but uh, nothing short of advancement after advancement after advancement. Nobody I've ever heard of could make 13 changes in, in, in less, than, less than three months. This is like staggering. How do they do that? I think they do it because their heritage is not looking at model years and, and they don't care about, uh, they don't seem to care about pride and stuff like that. If there's something new or good or right, they want to make that difference. So if you think that's good, how about this? This is an even bolder investment. They're now going to do the whole rear end in one piece and they're also going to make the front in one piece. So the front of dash and the rear is going to be one gigantic casting each. So two gigantic castings, probably surrounded by, by sheet metal. <laughs> Who does that kind of stuff? Those are the kind of innovations that basically will leave everyone else totally in the dust. And I believe that things are going to be changing so rapidly in the near future that, that, uh, that battery weight and battery cost is going to drop like a rock. And anybody who's not looking at vertical integration or moving beyond their um, core competencies is probably going to be left in the dust. And that's a fact. So we are also looking at things that Tesla is saying about, um, about what they want to do for their, uh, for their friends or maybe their enemies uh, down the road. And Tesla said it's open to licensing software and supplying powertrains and batteries. This is a fabulous way to subjugate your enemies. If they have to buy your, your, your motors and your batteries and your software, uh, how can they possibly make any profit? Think about Sun Tzu. This is a way to get rid of enemies' ability to manufacture anything on their own. There's no way that you can compete if you're buying it from somebody else. You have no way to innovate. I hope that what I've talked to you today about will, uh, will add to your source of knowledge. And with that, I'd like to thank you and bid you a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you.